Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America. Today I got a good buddy Dave with you and Dave is from DFF. Now DFF is one of those incredible companies that have since applying automation and over the last couple of years have doubled the amount of people that they have at their facility which is mind-blowing and when I say double I don't mean two to four or four to eight I mean around 160 to over 300 people with all of the state-of-the-art equipment and automation and robotics that go along with it and there's a misconception out there about automation taking jobs this company is foolproof that that is not the case and they've done a lot of this implementation through a company called Datanomics and we're gonna learn this testimonial from Dave about how Datanomics has truly helped DFF grow and understand all of the technology across the board with all of these added employees without losing track of what's going on so Dave thank you so much for being a part of MTD oh absolutely Tony I um, appreciate you inviting me down here to be able to discuss what we've developed with Datanomics. Well, anytime I get to talk with a friend about technology, it is a win-win. So we have this software in front of us right now, and I know you're going to walk us through some of the parts and most specifically of how it's helped DFF and what you guys have done. Well, it's really helped us just with the visualization of the company. To be able to have data live um, literally every six seconds, it's allowed us to be able to look into what we're doing out on the manufacturing floor and be able to react and be more proactive versus, you know, waiting until somebody comes and tells you something's wrong. Um, so with the datanomics portion of it, it allows us to monitor our machines, um, see what's going on live. Um, if the machine's running, if it's not running, it gives us historical data as far as understanding who's run the jobs before, who's done a better job of it before. Um, being able to analyze not just the jobs, but the performance of the people that are running those jobs also to find out who can give us the better performance, who needs more training, who doesn't need more training, um, which machines have more downtime, which ones don't. Um, and then we started implementing, um, once I figured out what Datanomics was all about, I had approached them and talked to them about what we call a gimbal board. And it allows us to get a high level view of what's going on with the company all in one shot. Then we had brought on the implementation of what we call the orb. It's the operational readiness board. The orb does an amazing job with all of my supervisors. Um, it allows them to have the visualization. Again, with over 300 people, it's hard to get up every you know day, go out to the shop floor and go around to 50 or 60 people and say, hey, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. It's a lot easier when they can come in, look at the orb, find out what job they're supposed to be doing, what machine they're on, who they're working with, because we have a lot of um, areas in the company where we work as teams. And again, it allows them, you know, instead of at 6.15, 6.20 every morning, figuring out what they're doing, by 6.01, they're already running the job. To me, that's amazing. And I, I think about when I hear this conversation, and I've been into your shop, and it's such an amazing shop, you know, one of a kind, state of the art. But I think about other large companies out there that may not have a similar type of implementation, I immediately start to go to, how do they keep up with all of that information, right? Because what you're talking about is you go in, you're ready to get started, your day is, your guys are looking at the sheet itself, they know what they're supposed to do. And my question to you now is, what was it like before having all of this information? Was it, I just imagine it's a bunch of guessing and a bunch of assuming, right? A, a lot of assuming. Um, you literally had to run around every morning trying to figure out what's going on, talk to everybody. And it, it, sometimes it wasn't until 9, 10 o'clock before you figured out everything that's going on in the shop, what happened overnight. And again, we're running seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You know, you come in on a Monday morning, you've got to accumulate all the data and everything that happened over the weekend where with Datanomics, it allows us to be able to instantly look and see the performance of what happened over the weekend. It gives us our part counts, it gives us our cycle counts, um, whether or not people are meeting our tack times, our cycle times, um, whether or not they were even here. Sometimes, you know, you'll notice that a machine was down because somebody called out, where in actuality, you might not have had that report for another couple more hours because, you know, payroll didn't get that information to you at that point where this allows the supervisors to have that immediate information and be able to utilize it quickly. And that is actually the bigger key. The data collection has always been there. It's the utilization of it that allows them to be more proactive out on the shop floor. And a guy standing around, or a girl, standing around doing nothing 
is it's demoralizing. So I've heard this term thrown around from time to time called the hidden factory about the pieces that we don't know that are going on without software like Datanomics, where we just, uh, back to that assumption again, and, and you're walking in, you're getting started. Obviously, you mentioned sometimes we wouldn't get started before 9 or 10 in the morning before, so we're right. obviously saving time. But I imagine there's just so many bits and pieces where you go, I didn't know that was happening, or yeah. why was that machine down? Okay, that makes sense why it was down, or why on this 15, 20 hour program do I have one tool that's running for 90% of it? There, all of these different pieces of the hidden factory, you guys are able to make better at DFF with the help of Datanomics, is that correct? So what we do is we, we go in and we start analyzing the data that we have, and we start picking at things that we look at and we go, all right, this is jumping out at us. There's got to be a systemic reason why we're continuously either getting this issue or why is this issue so big. And one of the things at DFF that we continuously do is we take the time to think about how to solve problems. We don't just push things off and go, we'll fix it tomorrow because tomorrow's too late. If you're pushing things off till tomorrow, you're going to fall behind. And so we jump into the things. Our engineering team is number one at, as far as going out to the shop floor, pulling something apart, figuring out what's going on and fixing it. And what this allows us to do is now our manufacturing side can actually get up to speed with our engineering department and allow them to be able to not just go, hey, something's wrong on this machine, or I'm seeing a lot of downtime, but I saw downtime between such and such time. Was there a surge in the, in the company? Was, you know, did we have a power outage? Whatever the case may be, it allows you to pinpoint when we're having the downtime. Did somebody go home early? To be able to analyze stuff and be able to have answers that you can readily fix, again, it's a godsend because now we're not wasting time chasing after rabbits, not knowing what we're going to find. And rabbits are tough to catch, let's be fair, they, right? Absolutely, right. <laughs> so you're talking about all of this technology and the adaptation of the software, and reducing the time in the mornings or the evenings or just the collecting of information, the data that's on the machines that's being you know, programmed and cut. What was the downtime? Why was the person off? Did somebody call out? All of these right. different aspects. In my head, if I'm watching right now, I go, well, that's got to be so complicated to run. That's gotta be so complicated to understand. How simple or complicated is what we're looking at right here and how easy and quickly were you able to adapt to it? Well, let's look at a little bit of it. So if we're looking at the machines, I mean, I can come up here and click on the dashboard and literally go right into a machine. It'll come up. So this right here is telling me I'm at 67.9% of live data right now. They've made 19 out of 28 parts. We've had some downtime. The yellow is where the, you get the brakes, the green is where it's been live running, and you can go in and analyze what's going on with it. Um, this particular job, I'd have to look into and find out exactly what job it is and stuff to understand why we're having downtime. This right here could have just been the end of the cycle for the amount of parts that we need to make on that machine that day. They could be in setup right now working towards another job, and as soon as they switch the program over, it'll register the other program name, and then we'll be able to um, analyze it moving forward from there, how much actual setup time they actually had on the other job. Um, if I come down here and I go into the gimbal board, back to the screen where we were at before, this allows us to look into how we're doing as far as safety, quality, delivery, cost, and inventory. We're still in some of the development phases on some of the letters and stuff, but the Q and the D to me were two of the biggest ones as far as the display goes, but nothing overrides safety. We have a great safety plan in place, we just don't have it connected on the board yet because we're still implementing that in our ERP system. But as far as um, the digital portion of it here, the Q and the D are things that we're working on. I'm gonna switch this over real quick. So this gives you a little bit more um, data as far as understanding um, the progression of the color codes and stuff. If it's in green, that means we're anywhere between 93 and 107%. Anything that's under 93%, is in red because it's an opportunity to advance and anything in gold means we're at over 107 percent and that is a great opportunity too also because maybe we're putting too much into it and we can back off this our target is to be in the green when we look at it a gold is an opportunity to bring more back to the company red is an opportunity to bring things up to where they should be when we go into the orb which is our operational readiness board this is where it allows us to go into and do our scheduling for our day. We literally have the customer's name, the part number, um, the people that are assigned to doing the job as the production is going through the shop. 
So we left the shop this morning. We had 48 parts due on this job. And as the morning's been going by, you can see they've been plugging away at getting work done. Um, again, some of these parts take longer than others. Some go by quick. But we have to make sure that we have enough jobs set up on the schedule to allow them to manufacture parts continuously. So if you look at this and as I scroll down, you realize this is what's on the schedule just for today. There's a lot of jobs. Can you imagine doing all of this manually every you know, 45 minutes you're going out to the floor going, hey, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. That's a lot of work. And this is one department. So in a total, what we have right now is basically we have our manufacturing department, which is all of our CNC, um, our Amazon department, which is our Amazon manufacturing department, our assembly area, and then building 79 is a second building that we have that's all more just manufacturing. Then we actually have a third building, which is our um, storage facility for finished goods. And again, being able to just go in and look at a department and see everything that is going on live, it allows us to be able to um, understand where the department's at, what's going on in there, and not have to run out to the floor. And again, with 300,000 square feet, it takes a little while to run around that shop. And it's not that we don't want to do that, it's a savings of time. If I don't have to take 45 minutes to run around the shop and I can look at this and in two minutes get a complete understanding of everything that's going on in the shop, now I can spend 43 minutes doing something else. <clears throat> yeah, that's absolutely fascinating and incredible and correct in my opinion. I mean, you'd be great for cardio, right? Our Fitbits would have all sorts right. of numbers on it, but at the same time, we need to get things done quickly, accurately. So. I'm looking at all these screens, and this is more or less new to me, right? Mm -hmm. But you're the professional, you're clicking through it, you've done this for a long time. What happens if you need service? How quick does Datanomic support you? How easy are they? Are you able to contact them, get them in touch, and they are able to help you out? Hey, Greg, can you come over here for a minute? We'll be here in a minute. Oh my hey, gosh! Guys, how we doing? What's How's up? that? That was pretty quick. That was pretty that quick. That works out pretty good, doesn't it? So, yeah, if you want to pass that microphone over to Greg real quick. Greg, let's talk about a little bit from your side of things about the software. Obviously, your relationship with DFF is fantastic, and Dave is a great friend of yours. Let's talk about the implementation, everything that goes along with it that you'd like to discuss with the audience as well. Sure. So, you know, specifically for the digital Gemba boards, what we're doing is we're pulling live information from the ERP system. So... Any ERP system that you have, we actually connect at the database level. So it doesn't matter what ERP system someone's using. Uh, we're replicating data from the ERP system into our cloud service. And then we go through an integration process. We sit down with you and understand how do you think about safety, quality, delivery, cost, inventory? How do you want to see that data appear? What you know information do you want to have in your reports? We go through that process with you, make sure that how you view the data in the ERP is how you're going to see it in the digital Gemba boards. And then once we've finished uh, configuring that for you, we turn it over to you and it runs live and seamlessly every day, just like Dave's implementation. Live and seamless and obviously support is here right away. <laughs> Greg, that's amazing. Dave, great testimonial. We really appreciate you. I know the guys at Datanomics do as well. For those of you who are watching, you got to check this stuff out. And Greg is going to give you a site where you can be, where you can find them, find out more information, whether it's the socials or internet uh, website, whatever you'd like to give, home address, personal phone numbers, <laughs> maybe just Dave's and not yours. You, but you, you got to be a paying customer like Dave to get the personal phone number. <laughs> www.datanomics.io. Perfect. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this story as much as I have. It's absolutely fascinating for all the shops out there really trying to collect more data, more information. Stop wasting time and get it done quicker, faster, and improve your factory overall. Give Datanomics a look. Give Dave a call over at DFX. I'm sure he'll be happy to talk to you. He's got more time now, as you can see, with everything being there for him and ready to go. So give him a shout. We really appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for watching MTD CNC.